What's up guys? Today is the first day of winter. Well, winter weather anyways. It's cold, it's snowing. What else do you expect for upstate New York in early December? So I decided to get some solar panels put on our house here a few weeks ago. They're not doing too much, I'm covered in snow up here today. But I want to take a few minutes and talk why I decided that they were a good investment and a good idea to put on my roof in a city that's not necessarily the sunniest city in the country. So I'm getting cold, I'm gonna go inside, so let's go. Whew, that's better. It was getting cold out there. So my relationship with Stoller started way back, probably in middle school. I used to take apart those old solar calculators that had the little solar panel in them and I'd wire those up to a motor or charge some batteries or whatever little electronics project I was working on at the time. And I even made a little solar powered car for our middle school science fair way back in the day. Yeah, that's me. And that's my little solar powered car. Well, I have no idea how we did in that science fair or if we won. I guess I'm assuming I would have remembered that if I won. So it's probably safe to say I didn't. But that's definitely where the, my interest in solar started. There's just something awesome about having clean, renewable energy available to power whatever it is you need. So it was all about the timing of a couple different things that made this project make financial sense for us because residential solar is still not cheap. First, we needed a new roof. The shingles were starting to show their age. There's a couple water spots on the ceiling on the inside of the house, which means I probably should have replaced the roof a couple years ago. And the one thing you don't want to do is put a new solar installation on an old roof just to have to take that solar installation off to then go install a new roof and put the solar panels back on. And second were the state and federal rebates that were available to us here in New York State in the US. There is a 26% federal rebate currently this year. That's going to be dropping to 22% next year and ultimately going away in 2022 unless Congress renews that, which I hope they do because solar is expensive. And in New York state, there's a 25% rebate as well. So ultimately we will be getting 25, nope, 50% off of our solar installation when we get our taxes done the following year. And since we're talking financials, let's break down the price of our solar installation. We decided to go with a company here locally called Nickel Energy Solutions. They had done a couple of other projects for people that I know and came highly recommended. So we had them do the project here for us. We ended up going with 26 315 watt panels up on our roof. We had 14 on the front and 12 in the back. This is a 8.1 kilowatt system and all and is estimated to generate 8,100 kilowatts per year. The initial system price was 25,300 after tax. There was a 5,300 tax rebate immediately through New York State. So our initial out of pocket will be about 20,500. So that's what we paid this year to have the solar installed on our roof. Come tax time next year in the spring, we're looking to get about $5,000 back from New York State, which is the max for their 25% rebate they're offering. And we're also looking to get about 5,300 back through the federal rebate program. So after we get the tax rebates, the whole system cost should be about 10,300. Now, the information we got from our installer Nichols Energy Solutions estimates that we'll pay that back within roughly nine years. So it's definitely not a get rich quick scheme, but in the long run, it should save us a good chunk of change. They estimate based on historical weather data and shading analysis of our roof that over the lifetime of the system, which is about 25 years, that we will get roughly 35,000 in utility bill savings. Now the system costs us about 10,000. So in the end, 25 years from now, hopefully that should net us about $25,000. And if you break that down, it's roughly a 10% rate of return, which is a lot better than anything you're gonna find in today's financial climate. So with the pricing finalized through our solar installer, we went ahead with the structural inspection. And since our house was built 30 plus years ago, uh, we discovered that the roof currently does not meet the building code set today for snow load. So unfortunately we had to do a little bit extra reinforcement to the trusses up in the attic before the solar panels were installed. Now, we had talked to the roofing company prior to this and arranged for them to actually do the reinforcement work since that was a little bit more than I can handle personally. 
This just involved ripping off some of the plywood on the roof to add additional supporting beams to the trusses in the attic. We went with a company called the Roofing Guys here in Syracuse, and they were able to have the roof and the structural reinforcements added all within a day. They were fast, thorough, and if you're looking for a new roof in upstate New York, I would definitely recommend them. So with the new roof on, it was over to the solar installers to do their work. Uh, within the first day, they had the mounting brackets on the roof ready for the panels. The second day of the installation work, they had all the panels on, they had everything wired up into our electrical box downstairs, ready to go. At this point, we were just waiting for the power company to come switch out the electrical meter so the solar panels could pump energy back into the grid for anything that we weren't using. And like I said earlier, we went with 14 panels on the front and 12 on the back. We just had to leave some room for the furnace chimney to come up, otherwise we would have filled the back roof as well. And the panels look great. They're not really visible from the street and definitely not visible in the backyard unless you're pretty far out. So once the power company came to replace the meter, it was just a matter of flipping a switch on our circuit breaker downstairs and the solar panels were up and running, producing power. So we're using an app called Enlighten from Enphase to track both our consumption here in the house as well as the production from our solar panels up on the roof. Now in this app, when you open it up, it gives you a great overview of how much you've imported from the grid, how much you've used, how much your panels have produced, what your house has consumed, and ultimately if you've exported anything back to the grid. Now today, super cloudy, snowy day. Obviously there's gonna be almost zero production, but if you click on this energy tab here, it gives you a nice chart of what's going on. Now, just a few days ago, we had a nice full sun day, which is kind of rare for our part of the country this year. But you can see that nice graph here where we produced a ton during the middle of the day, ended up producing more than we consumed on this day. But this app is great. It breaks it down day by day. You can break it down by month. Um, you can also click on your array and see what your panels have produced. See if any panels are underperforming that need to be replaced under warranty or any other issues that might be going on. And the part I mentioned earlier about Syracuse not generally being known as a sunny city, well, yeah, in the wintertime we take a hit on the solar. We're obviously using a lot more than we're producing, but in the summer, the idea is to make up that extra amount. So we're gonna be producing a lot more than we're using in the summer. So if you live in a city that's not known for su sun, why can't I talk? So if you live in a city that's not known for sun like me and are thinking about getting solar, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer anything about what we did for our solar installation. Feel free to post some down below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.